Welcome to the channel, everyone. My name's Levi, and I've got... I'm Colton. And we're here to tell you everything we've got in the fishing hole, from tips, tricks, and to our new deals that we've got. So what have we got today, Colton? So today we're going to be talking about new techniques. I want to try some new techniques this year. Uh, Levi does as well. We're both better at certain techniques, so uh, we're going to help each other through this, pick out some rods. So let's go. All right. So this year, I want to get into jerk baits. So I've heard about these Vision 110s we've got here. Very we've got, popular. We've got the 110, the 110 Plus, and the 110 Plus 2. So what can you tell me? What kind of rod should I be getting? Okay, I've got two rods that okay. are absolutely perfect for this. Awesome. Um, this first one, we're going to start high here. This is the G Loomis IMX uh, 812C. So this is their casting jerkbait rod. 6.9, um, short rod, perfect for working those baits. Um, this is going to be a great rod coming in at $364.99. All right. So... If yeah. that one isn't in your price range, okay. if you're looking to start out, don't want to spend too much on jerkbait setup, sure. I got another one for you. Awesome. Now, what better to throw a Mega Bass Vision 110 than a Mega Bass Levante jerkbait rod? This thing is legit. Short handle, perfect for working them, just like the IMX. Um, we've got three eighths to three quarter. It can handle a lot. It's a little bit, a uh, little bit longer than the IMX at six eleven, but uh, yeah, this one comes in at one ninety nine, perfect price point. Beautiful rod, and I gotta say, I like the, I like the purple rings here on it. It complements yep. that green really nice. Great craftsmanship on the Levantes as well as all the Mega Bass rods. So, all right, so I hope that helped on the jerk baits. Definitely, um, definitely. One thing I want to get into is spinner baits. So I picked up a bunch of these bling spinner baits. Good choice. These are uh, River to Seas. I just like the look of them. I've got Willows, I've got Colorados, um, but again, I don't have a rod. I've been throwing them on a jig rod. If you can All believe right. that. Wow, okay. <laughs> well, let me show you this guy over here. I've got another Levante coming in. This one's the Diablo Spec R. And what's cool about this guy is he's seven foot two. He's got, you can throw anything from three eighths to three quarter rounds. And it's just, I mean, it's a beautiful rod, great price point, $199.99 again. Okay. And you just get such good action on this rod. You can't beat it for the price point. Gotcha. And I do like my Mega Bass stuff. I mean, I fish a lot of that. So I'm probably leaning towards that rod. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, I hope to see you throwing those spinner baits. Definitely. So I think another thing that I need to add to my arsenal this year is some cranks. Ooh, so okay. I went ahead, picked up this Lucky Craft and this Spro. I got a square bow, got the craw colors here, but again, I don't know what I'm going to throw these guys on. Okay. So. Well, let me show you. This IMX here, this is a new one that we got in. Um, this is the seven foot. It's the 843 cranking rod. So this thing is just awesome. It has an awesome action. It bends real deep into the rod, mm -hmm. but it still has that backbone. Nice. Um, and a lot of the treble hook baits, you need that moderate action to keep those fish pinned. Definitely. Um, I've lost a lot of fish fishing them on the wrong rods. So mm -hmm. this one, oh man, you'll be able to launch these baits. Um, You'll be able to keep those fish so all together just an awesome rod imx the cork i'm a sucker for cork too man i'm so, gonna have to pick me up one of these definitely so i'm gonna tell you right now you're gonna be impressed of what crankbaits can do i'm Once excited you get the right to see. rod in your hand it's fantastic so, awesome one thing i have a problem with so i've got these awesome savage gear gobies and salamanders um, I love to throw them, but I can't find a heavy enough head and mm -hmm. I can't get them out there. Sure. So ah, do I need to change rods? Well, I've got a little something in store for you, Colton. Okay. So I've got the IMX line. This one's the 882S. So you said you were having trouble launching them. Yeah. This guy is 7'4". He's going to give you that extra reach. So you're going to rip them out there. Wow. And we're talking, you're working with eight to three eighths ounce on here okay? okay 
So again, I mean, it's the IMX line, so it's high quality. You got that higher price tag, right? Yep. But you're gonna rip them out there. Sure. Gotcha. I might have to add that one to my arsenal. Definitely. So you say three eight ounce rated to three eights. What about the heavier stuff? What well, if I want to throw a big TRD or a giant TRD? Sure. I'm glad you asked. So I've got this Levante over here, the shaky head. And this guy's actually rated for higher. So he's a 7.0 on the length there. Right. But this guy, he's actually rated from eight to half. Oh, so wow. you're going to be able to work those higher end, higher weights, sure. I should say, on those uh, finesse rigs you got. Cool. Cool. Yeah, that'll be, uh... man, I'm going to have to add both of them. <laughs> Can't go wrong either way. <laughs> Shoot. Awesome. Well, I hope that you have as much success with those as I think you're going to have. Yeah, I'm excited. Definitely. Well, for my last question that I've got for you, Colton, I'm going to get into swim baits this season. Oh. No doubt. Okay. So what I've got is I've got some mag draft from the Mega Bass line. These are no joke. No joke. These are some serious baits right here. So I've got these guys and I've also got this Arashi trout here. And I need to figure out what kind of a meat stick I got to get to get these guys out there in the water. Sure, sure. Well, we just restocked the perfect rod for this. That's what I like okay. to hear. I've got for you, it's a Levante. Okay. It is called the Leviathan. Oh, so, yeah. This is your meat stick. All right. Okay. It's a 7-Eleven. It's a 2-8 to eight ounce rod. So you will be able to throw a lot of swim baits mm -hmm. those 10 inch mag drafts they're big they come in at six and a quarter okay this is another another uh two ounces above that all right so yeah this is just a uh a fantastic rod if you're getting into big swim baits it'll handle a wide variety of stuff mm -hmm. um so if you don't want to start giant you don't have to you can start with a little uh eight inch mm -hmm. eight inch mag draft or the glide baits like you're talking sure so yeah this is a fantastic rod beautiful again i love i can't get over that color on it that green with those it's purple stripes it's the best that is nice so i'm super excited to throw these big baits with you hopefully Definitely. we'll get on some pigs for sure for um, sure but yeah i think we'll have the gear to do it Absolutely, I couldn't agree more. Well, Colton, I think that about wraps it up for us today. So thank you for joining us, everyone. And we hope to see you next week.